Please turn your TVs on for Hawk Talk. Good morning, Hawks. Welcome to another episode of Hawk Talk. I'm Morgan. And I'm Tim. I hope everyone is having a fabulous Wednesday. Congrats to the boys and girls basketball teams for picking up wins last night against Jules Sumner. Keep up the great work. Congrats to the girls' soccer team for their district win against New Orleans Military and Maritime Academy on senior night. Special congratulations to seniors Zoe Schuster, Chloe Guerin, Alyssa Schneider, Natalie Bally, Marie Claire Honore, and Gabby Herring. The boys' soccer team fell in a hard-fought game to Vanderbilt Catholic. Junior Carson Presser scored for the Haw- scored for the Hawks, and junior Ignacio Fernandez saved the PK. Hawks will be back in action on Friday against St. Michael at home, while the girls will take on Christ Episcopal tonight. At 5.30 on Hawkfield. Tonight is Five Guys Night to support the senior class from 11 to 8 p.m. Mention Hannon when you check out. We'd now like to welcome Ms. Boche to come onto the show to discuss scheduling for next year. Hey, Ms. Boche. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Today at lunch, our 8th or 11th graders will need to come pick up their honors and AP recommendation sheets uh, for next school year. At your assigned time, please report outside to the tables that will be near the entrance to Heritage Hall. Ms. Schaefer, Ms. Lowe, and I will be outside, and tables will be divided alphabetically. It'll be A to H, I to N, and O to Z. Uh, please don't come early. We'll, we'll make you wait for your time slot. Eighth graders report immediately when lunch starts at 11.58. Ninth graders report at 12.08. Tenth graders report at 12.18. And eleventh graders report at 12.28. And this is posted to Hawk Nation so that um, you can see those times. These recommendation sheets will detail what courses you're allowed to take next year in English, Math, Social Studies, Science, and World Language, if you're, if you're still taking World Language. Uh, for each of these subjects, you're going to see the score you earned on the PSAT and then a row for the PSAT requirement, teacher recommendation, and grade requirement. Next to those rows, you'll see a Y or an N. To get into honors or AP, you have to have at least two Ys. Um, you might see a star next to an N. That means that you didn't actually meet the criteria, but your teacher thought you were close enough to go ahead and, and, and move you on. Uh, you'll see a row called highest qualified course. That's telling you what course you're allowed to take next year. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to sign up for that particular course, um, though we encourage you to do so. It just shows you the highest that you can go. So, for example, if your highest qualified course says AP English 3, you can take AP, you can take honors, or you can take college prep. So, again, we would encourage you to take the AP. Of course, your parents need to be okay with um, you selecting whatever course it is that you select. If you see a course that you've already taken list under highest qualified course, um, please report that error to me or your teacher. Um, some of you might see a course uh, listed for math, a second course. Um, some people are approved to double up in math. And then um, you'll see a row for PLTW courses. Again, that's Project Lead the Way. If not in that program, it's not going to apply to you. The scheduling portal opens on Friday the 22nd. So starting on Friday, you're going to go to Power School and select the classes you want to take for next year. Um, please do not pick a class that you weren't approved to take. So if you weren't recommended for honors and you wanted to be in honors, um, you need to handle that with your teacher before you go in and start picking your courses. Your teachers will communicate the changes to me and then they'll let you know if your recommendation has been changed. That portal will close on Friday, January 29th, and then after that, your, your counselors will start meeting with you to go over your selections. They'll ask you to prioritize your electives um, and just uh, go over some general things about scheduling. Uh, you should be selecting courses that are okay um, with your parents, so please work with your parents on doing this. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. But again, um, from growing at lunchtime, to outside by Heritage Hall, so please check your time slot on Hawk Nation. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Fisher. Now, I think it's time for a little joke. Why did the picture go to jail? Because it was free. Wow, thanks, Tim. Last but not least, we'd like to wish a happy hand and birthday to Brooke Brio, Mary Barberito, Kristen Wishcamper, and, and Kristen Wishcamper. Have a great day, Hawks. See you tomorrow. Right, we have a